If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. In today's video, I have a uh, game breaking new glitch that happened to me in Madden 25. I want to share with you guys my experience as well as tell you guys how to fix it if it happens to you. Uh, but I also want to use it as an opportunity to rant a little bit about Madden 25 and the state of how bad this game uh, really is. And it only seems to be getting worse. Uh, but before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button. Let me know in the comment section. And if you actually play this game and you want more help or more money plays, you can check out my ebooks in the uh, top pinned comment or in the description and download them instantly sent by clicking the links. Now, going off of the comments, one of the biggest reasons that I've noticed that people are somewhat boycotting Madden 25 is the fact that EA, for whatever reason this year, isn't allowing you to use custom playbooks when it comes to things like online head-to-head -head, like I'm playing right now. Which doesn't really bother me too much as I actually am used to using team playbooks from back when I used to play Mutt. And I really think that most people should stick to a team playbook. I think that with the more plays you have, I think that that actually is kind of cheesy. Um, a lot of people just put the best plays all in one playbook. I'm not against uh, them not allowing custom playbooks. But the issue that I had wasn't even that. I wasn't even, it's not even an issue about team playbooks. Because at least in Madden you get to choose whatever team playbook you like. The issue that I was having was no matter what game I went into and no matter what playbook I chose as my as my favorite playbook or no matter what team I chose, I kept getting the same playbooks. And these playbooks, I don't even know where these playbooks came from as they are absolutely god awful. Now, as far as the defensive playbook that I was getting assigned to, it really wasn't that bad as the one of the things that I wanted to show you guys as well was my 3-4 defense out of my Raiders playbook, my new Raiders ebook. Uh, and it had that. So I did get to record some uh, gameplay footage of me basically using some random playbooks and using the defensive formation that I wanted to use um, and still having success, which I still plan on putting out a video on uh, Monday about this defense as it still is, you know, it still worked out. But the offensive side is absolutely god awful. As I get the ball here and you're gonna see, I go to the I form, uh, the I form close or try to because that's my favorite formation. But I can see something right away is not right. As it shows I form pro and uh, I form tight and all these horrible I forms that don't even really work very well. So I immediately call a timeout and offer a friendly quit to my opponent. And in this game, they actually accept it. Now my original thought was sometimes um, it reverts to the team playbook, but I know the Eagles team playbook a little bit better than this. And this, I don't know what this was. So I go into another game thinking nothing of it, thinking, hey, maybe that was just, you know, that happens sometimes. Sometimes you, it just reverts to the team playbook. I don't know why. And I really didn't know what was going on here. But in the next game, I had the same problem. So I start to think, did EA like severely patch these playbooks or completely change around the plays? And I know that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I knew something else was an issue. Now, at least in this game, I didn't have to play very long before I got an interception and got the ball in my opponent's territory. And then once again, when I get back to offense, I realize once again, this is not the uh, Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook. It's some god awful playbook that has just some of the worst plays I've ever seen. Like I, could, I really couldn't find more than one or two offenses in this entire playbook that I liked. I mean, this formation especially, this ace double wing formation is absolutely horrible. It's basically a goal line formation with four tight ends. And this is one of the first offenses that they offer you when it, when it comes to this package. So every time I saw this, I was like, oh, I know I'm still in that horrible playbook. But what kind of formation is this really? It's like four tight ends. The only play you can really run out of it is the stretch. I don't know how you're expected to be able to pass out of this. And that's pretty much what I like. I like pass heavy offenses. So I don't know what playbook this is, but this playbook is god awful. Awful. So I did some research and it turns out that this is a bug that goes back to like Madden 24 where if you're playing an opponent that rage quits, which for me happens a lot because I've even I've even made videos saying everybody rage quits versus, you know, this offense or this defense or whatever. And then I string together a compilation of um, games that I played where my opponents were rage quitting against me. Uh, and that basically can happen in a way where it kind of flips the the uh, the team playbook that they were using and it becomes the preset playbook for you which really doesn't make any sense i don't know how that happens but once that happens you i couldn't take it off i couldn't change it because i would go to my settings and it would still say that i had the chiefs as my offensive team playbook and the and the raiders as my defensive playbook so if and if i changed that nothing would happen now i did figure out a workaround 
but that's kind of the issue here. I, I, I shouldn't have to, and, and people that buy this game shouldn't have to figure out workarounds to get the game to work properly or how they want to how they want to work it. It should just work properly. You know what I mean? This is this is the problem with Madden. It's like I don't think we should all have to figure out how to hack the game just to make it work properly, which is basically the issue here. But the workaround that I found once I realized that that's what was happening, I decided to go back to my settings and set it to team specific and then set it to whatever playbooks I want in the actual game and it kind of reset it somehow. I'm not exactly sure why that worked, but you can see even here it resets even though I'm using the Eagles, it says Arizona for offense and defense, which is what I think I had as my playbooks. So I still didn't really fix the problem. I just kind of figured out a workaround and now I can play the game. But the entire experience was pretty ridiculous and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, for one, because if you're having this problem, obviously you're gonna wanna work around. But I also wanna use it as a way of ranting about how poorly this game is being managed by EA. Now, there was uh, about on Wednesday, they did attempt a patch or they did a try to update something as they put out some communication on their Madden 25 uh, direct Twitter account saying that there would be some server maintenance at about 5.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whatever, which typically means an update or a patch. So I was hopeful that they were gonna fix this uh, but then that day came and went and they never touched it. I never got any communication about it either. There was no communication about what they patched or what they fixed or whatever they worked on in the server. Uh, but when I went on to see if it was still an issue, it was still an issue, which meant I had to find it. I had to figure out an answer for it myself. But it was still very ridiculous. And I still want to give you guys uh, an update on this because if you have this issue, obviously you're going to want to know how to fix it. As it's something that I'm not sure how common it is, but I've never had an issue like this. I've had people in my comment section tell me all types of crazy issues they're having with Madden when it comes to this or their franchise mode or whatever. And I just think it's ridiculous. If EA really wants to make it to the point where you're not going to play the game, how could they make it so difficult to play their game to the point where I couldn't really play for about a week until I figured this out. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous, but it's not even the biggest issue. This game has so many problems when it comes to the actual gameplay itself, when it comes to simple mechanics like tackling, pursuit angles, catching the football. You might have saw earlier in the Ravens game, uh, I think it was the tight end just completely was wide open and couldn't catch the ball. It's way harder to get intercept interception on defense, although I do find that, um, you know, that's kind of spotty. Sometimes it's hard to get interception, sometimes it's not. But simple things like tackling and catching, that's all football really is. How could you make this, make it so poor or make it so difficult to do simple things when it comes to playing this game and still expect people to want to play your game? So at the end of the day, this, this game, more than college football, needs massive patches and it's not even getting the support. As the following day that, that Madden did that server maintenance and then gave us nothing, they did a huge update on College Football 25, which is a, a video that I made just yesterday. So I encourage you guys to switch over from Madden to College Football 25. Uh, and if you guys want to learn about that update, like I said, I did make a video about that just yesterday. They put m way more time and attention into this, as well as doing some things that were really important when it comes to saving information like custom plays. So if you guys want to see that, I'll have a link to that video popping up. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.